Okay, just going to give you a quick tour of the garden. Over here, these haven't come up yet at all. These are all the herbs, the, the basil, the parsley, some Brussels sprouts, and a few tomatoes. And all along here are the, uh, the spring bulbs. They're, they're almost done. We still have a few little blue campuses here. The garden that have really done the best were the, the big tulips. Yeah, they look fantastic. They're almost done now, but wow, they turned out fantastic. So is that. And then the herb garden. Chamomile, and there's a baby rosemary in the back, and this is lemon balm down here, and chives, which are, are ready to harvest for the first time this year, sage, which is also ready to harvest, thyme, and this is a this is a really lovely aroma aroma therapy type of thyme, really strong. As you can see, the mint has, uh, has kind of gotten away from me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to harvest that and pluck it down. We can use mint for so many things, though. Oh, yeah. Lots and lots of tea. Yeah. These three plants right here are all blueberries. These are talons. And it looks like this one's... This one's flowers are going great, and so is this one. So these two should be ready to uh, should be ready to pollinate each other. I'm not quite sure this one's actually going to flower this year. It's just a baby. It's a teeny tiny baby, and I don't have anything in the rest of those pots yet. Well, there's an artichoke over there. Unfortunately, that artichoke does not produce edible artichokes, but the flowers are really pretty. Yeah, they are. The miniature rose here has, has lots of little babies on it, and it produces lots and lots of teeny tiny miniature roses that are really fragrant. over there. And what about the front? Yeah, the bugs are getting to the front. I planted beans and carrots and spinach. These poor little, uh, these poor little beans right here are getting chewed to death. But I planted some more. And the carrots are coming up. Tiny, tiny little carrots. And what looks like what actually looks like weeds here. These are not weeds. These are these are alfalfa sprouts. These help when I dig them back in to give some uh, Give some more nitrogen to the soil and help the, the soil stay loose. Mm. This is 
the rose I transplanted from a, a shady part of the side of the house. This looks like it's doing pretty well. It's growing new leaves. We'll be putting brick in the, we'll be putting brick in the corner. Yeah, we'll be laying down red brick there. Aside from the shade corner, there's not much in the shade corner. Yeah, it's coming along nicely though. I decided on a I decided on a natural border. All these all these are uh, are branches that fell off the trees. Here, uh, that fell off the trees, or that I had to cut off the trees, and I just cut them into lengths, and I'm pounding them into the ground to form a nice border. And there's a uh, there's one plant that survived the winter quite well. None of the ferns survived, so I'll have to plant more ferns and more other shade plants as well. It's looking nice back here, though. Oh, the kiwi. These two are kiwis. <clears throat> they're not quite ready to be put up on the trellis yet, but they're getting there. They're growing. Well, they survived the winter. Yeah, they did survive the winter. They came back with beautiful, big, fat, fuzzy leaves. This is going to go up a little higher, and then the uh, the kiwis will actually go through here, up through the chimney, onto a trellis system. And the other there. <clears throat> These kiwis are actually self-pollinating. They don't need a partner to pollinate and produce more kiwis. Other than that, it's just cleanup work and planting more seeds. It looks a whole lot better than it did two years ago. Oh yeah. And even the middle yard's getting getting a nice treatment. Yep, yeah, looks nice back there. The middle yard soil is is very good this year after having put a whole three inches of compost on top of it. Well, it's hard to believe that it was just full of junk and rubbish and oil and God knows what chemicals. And yep, not a trace of the oil left after doing micro remediation on it. Cost me a few a few hundred dollars, but uh, that was a lot cheaper than spending several thousand to remove all the earth. What about around the side? The back? Yeah. Oh, the side. There really isn't much around the side. <laughs> with them, never weeded them, but they do, they look beautiful. They're a beautiful little green patch right here. Yeah, that's the blue out there as well. Hyacinths are our, uh, our biggest survivor around here. And that bush is too. Oh, there's a leak in the water. Oh, yeah. Need to yeah. tape that up. Yeah. Yeah, this bush was... This bush was this high when I started, and it was nothing but a bunch of sticks. Unfortunately, the little one, the other little bush, didn't survive this year. Of bricks we're going to use for the corner over there. Yep. 
all nice and clean. Yeah, they're red bricks. They're recycled from the back garden. <clears throat> Okay, I think that's about it. That was kind of a good look.